Hi everyone, so today we'll be learning about the Scottish Chaucerians. The Scottish Chaucerians were a group of poets from Scotland who were influenced by the works of the renowned English poet Geoffrey Chaucer. They emerged in the 15th century and made significant contributions to English literature by adapting and imitating Chaucer's style and themes in their works. And their importance lie in their role in the development of Scottish literature and also in their efforts to establish a distinct Scottish literary tradition. The Scottish Chaucerians, including poets such as Robert Henryson, William Dunbar, and David Douglas, recognized the literary power of Chaucer's works and sought to emulate his style and themes in their own poetry. They not only translated and adapted Chaucer's works, but also they wrote original compositions that drew heavily from his influence. Geoffrey Chaucer is often considered as the father of English literature, and he wrote in Middle English, and his works, such as the Canterbury Tales, had a profound impact on the literary landscape of his time and beyond. Chaucer's innovative use of vernacular English and his skill in storytelling inspired generations of poets and writers. His works were widely read and admired, and his influence extended beyond the borders of England. One of the most prominent Scottish Chaucerians, Robert Henryson, produced works such as The Testament of Crescid and The Moral Fabulous of Aesop the Phrygian, which showcased his talent for narrative poetry and moral allegory. Henryson's writings combined the courtly love tradition with a distinctly Scottish sensibility, featuring Scottish settings and characters. His works were characterized by their exploration of human nature, moral dilemmas, and the fragility of life. William Dunbar, another notable Scottish Chaucerian, was known for his satirical and witty poetry. His works such as The Treatise of the Tuamaric Women and Widow and The Lament for the Macaris demonstrated his ability to blend humor with social commentary. Dunbar's poetry often tackled religious, political, and social issues of his time, making him a significant figure in Scottish literary history. Gavin Douglas, a bishop and poet, translated Chaucer's magnum opus, The Canterbury Tales, into Middle Scots, making it accessible to a wider Scottish audience. His translation, known as The Palace of Honour, showcased his linguistic skills and also contributed to the preservation of Chaucer's literary legacy. So, the Scottish Chaucerians played a very crucial role in the development of Scottish literature by adapting Chaucer's works to the Scottish context and also infusing in them with their own cultural and linguistic influences. They helped to establish a distinctive Scottish literary tradition that blended courtly love themes, moral allegory, satire, and social commentary with so Scottish settings and characters. Moreover, the Scottish Chaucerians contributed to the broader English literary tradition by expanding the influence of Chaucer's works beyond the English borders. They helped in popularizing Chaucer's poetry in Scotland and introduced his writing style and themes to a new audience. Their efforts fostered a literary exchange between Scotland and England, enriching both traditions and paving the way for the future Scottish literary giants such as Robert Burns and Sir Walter Scott.